So, Merc Storia. Surprisingly, this is one of my favorite anime this year. Even though it has a really mediocre art. I mean, the quality of the art is not exactly the concept because I really love the how they draw the background in this anime and the and the character concept itself is fine because the there are there are many the main characters go to various different places and meet various different different people with different visual and aesthetic. But if you look at the, if you look at this anime in a glance, you can uh, you can see how it, it it feels cheap. The animation feels cheap. There is not many movement. There is not. There, there are not many action scenes, and even in the in in places where there are actions, the animation uh, was animated pretty cheaply, and it's a, it can be a little sloppy or average or mediocre something like that. But for some reason, I really love this anime. I really like it. It's, it is it is one of my favorite this year. Why? Because it feels very sincere. You know, it feels a very sin sincere adventure and adventurous anime, where two main two main characters go on, go on an adventure, meet, go to uh, various different places, meet many new people, and then experience various different story, because of uh, the the conflict and the plot that the characters they meet they undergo. Like for uh, in the in the like in the second village they go they end up in a fairy in a in a fairy village fairy kingdom something something like that and then they help the princess to go to go in something like like a coming of age story and it's not about the content or the or the story in the whole sense how should i say this um it is how it is executed. Every story is is uh is a uh, typical enough. The 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 fairy princess is made a mistake and then she wants to correct her mistake and then she mature over the two episodes and then in the end she is successful and then she will she will become the queen someday with no problem. And then in other episodes, the two important characters are actually love each other but they are separated and they are they are the uh, female character is going to break the destiny and fate how should i say this the the, the concept itself of each art is not revolutionary or anything too unique but i love the execution i, I love the music they use to accompany these arcs and it feels very sincere story storytelling you know like it, it reminds me of uh, all the anime where the writer is really trying to tell stories of different people different situation rather than trying to use gimmicks like nowadays nowadays there are too many anime too many writer that try to use gimmick that feels feels uh doesn't feel very good after a couple of episodes especially right now where there, is, there are too many isekai manga and isekai anime that for some reason for some reason writers are racing to get to the most most ludicrous gimmick ever and after you after you read you read several isekai manga you have seen it all that there is really not too many permutation but in Merc Storia it feels very classic you know and it just not it, that just not that uh the uh the story feels very old timey but the execution is very efficient the the how the how the main plot is introduced and then how the main plot is, how the character how the characters involved came to be and how the story progresses feels very efficient it's fast because each arc is only like one to two episodes and they need to they need to introduce develop and finish each arc within two episodes so usually when typical writer 
write this kind of story, it will feel very rush or not developed enough. But in Mark Storia, the writer, uh, the writer managed to do this thing efficiently, and by the end of the arc, you you can feel. You, I feel very. I feel quite involved. Quite quite. Uh, what is the word? Mm. Invested, invested in the in the story. Even though I have only known these characters for two episodes, but that 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 is the good thing. That that's the good thing when you can write efficiently. The main character, the main character is a is a this character is a healer, a so called healer of the monster, but it's more like an exorcist. He is more like an exorcist where. He returns a monster who is who turn to madness and then return them return them to normal and uh, this other character is a fairy in a bottle something like that. Even though they are the main character, they are not really in, they are not really the main focus of this anime. The main focus of the, this anime is really the adventure part, how they meet meet other people, go to different places and experience various different things. And as I said. Each arc is very efficiently told. The character, the characters are introduced and developed very effectively. That in the end, just two episodes is enough for for them to make a whole different, unique, unique story from each other. But it's uh, it still make me invested, feel invested. That said. I won't recommend this to a uh, normal anime watcher or people who don't watch anime so much because this is one of those anime that I think that you will only appreciate it if you have watched tons of anime and you have kinda seen it all where you have seen in all different kinds of anime, different genre, different with story like I said this many times before if you have watched Lots of anime, even just in the last ten years, you have pretty much seen it all. You you are from now on, you are only watching derivative of a few established tropes, few established uh story structures and story structures and few typical storytelling elements that uh you you are you will likely try to uh, look something more subtle in an anime for me my story fulfill in ful fulfill this in how it tells a simple story and finishes in uh, very briefly within one to two episodes and the writer tells the story very efficiently but still managed to bring a lots of emotion lots of energy and powerful moments and then ends ends the each arc satisfyingly. It's all about how the how each how how each scenes were written and how dialogues how how effective dialogues were written and acted and how they use good music to bind them all together. Yes, I should really mention how good the music are the the BGMs are because. I think it would it would be not as good if it, if it has a typical BGMs. My only <laughs> my criticism of this anime is just as I said in the beginning is that the art is pretty mediocre and especially in the fairy kingdom art, the some moments gets gets pretty <laughs> pretty uh, the lineup gets pretty bad but in overall i really love this anime and every week i really look forward to this anime i want to watch that there, there is this uh, arc where about a father and uh, and his daughter where uh, i i i don't want to spoil it too much but the arc where the father is trying to save his daughter is really emotional and even though this uh, how it's really good i feel i feel I, I almost cried even though the whole thing happens only in two episodes that's 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 really sh really sure how how if uh, a typical story just how if you write it differently you can 
you can produce different emotion i mean like it's a it's a very typical story where the mom is dead the father is lonely uh, the father is sad and then the daughter feels confused and lonely because d d her mother is no more you know sad father lonely daughter dead mom it's a setting for a very typical tear jerking story but that at, uh, I, I if you if you tell me uh the premise of the story i will i will roll my eyes and say yes a typical tear jerking bait but that that i wouldn't i wouldn't feel much by watching it but Mark Storia did that did that efficiently and managed to make me feel emotional within just two episodes. That and combined with the fantasy element really clinched everything together and I really love it.